Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this video, I want to show you how you can add sun rays and amazing effects to your photo using Luminar. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramini. I'm a French photographer from the amazing cities of Paris, France, living in Los Angeles, California. In this very short video, I want to show you how I use Lightroom and Luminar to take my photography to the next level. All right, guys, there's a new version of Luminar that just came out, which is more stable, uh, faster. I want to show you how I use Luminar. A lot of people ask me, but how to use Luminar? Can it replace Lightroom? Yes, they are trying to replace Lightroom, but right now it does not do DAM. DAM means digital asset management. It does not manage your photo. I don't think I will ever give up Lightroom. It's Lightroom has been so much part of my life for so many years. But here is what I do with it. I do things with Luminar that you can't do in Lightroom that I hardly know how to do in Photoshop. Uh, let me show you an example on a photo I shot actually two days ago. I was just hiking and I want to make something special with it. So I'm going to use my usual workflow in Lightroom, you know, open up the shadows, bring on the highlights. I'm going to do my white point. You know, I want to make it brighter, my black point. You know, maybe uh, go to a little, because it, it was golden hour, so I'm going to go to shade, you know, and maybe add a little bit of, you know, of war, maybe a little bit of green, you know, add a bit of vibrance. But you know, apart from that, I don't really know what to do with this photo. But right click, export into Luminar. So I'm going to choose the option of edit a copy with Lightroom adjustment because I did a whole bunch of adjustment in Lightroom and now I want to take it further to Luminar. And I'm just going to show you one example of things you can do in Luminar that you cannot do in Lightroom at all. So here I am uh, in Luminar. So by default, uh, if you don't have this, I'm using the uh, the professional workflow. You get different, you know, like you can have no workflow. Um, by default, I'm using the professional workflow. But in this case, and, and that's only because you can take a role file and do everything that Lightroom does plus more. But as I said, it does not, uh, you know, manage a photo. I got 200,000 photos to uh, manage. So anyway, so the develop module, I'm not going to use because I already have done it. The noise, I don't care. Saturation, vibrance, I don't care. Excellent AI filter. That is something that, uh, you know, um, Lightroom doesn't do, but in this photo, it didn't really work out well. It makes it just brighter. I don't want it. Dehaze, I could do that in Lightroom. Remove color cast also. Here is one of the first thing I can do. Advanced contrast. I don't know what it is about advanced contrast, but I love it. Look, check this out. I'm going to boost the highlights and it just adds contrast in the highlights. I'm going to boost the mid-tones and I'm going to boost the shadows. It does something to your photo that I have not figured out. Check it out, before that filter, after. It's kind of subtle, but it really makes the photo pop. But that's not why it came to uh, Luminar, believe me. This is scratching the surface. So this one I'm gonna keep open, curve, I don't care. I could have done this in Lightroom, polarize the filter, same, same. Split toning, that's all the basic Lightroom stuff you can do. Um, and basically, voila. The only thing I'm gonna do on that layer, because it's a layer base, is I'm gonna add a filter, I'm gonna add fog. I want to add fog to this photo because I want to give it a complete different look. So you've got basically light fog and dark fog. In this case, I'm going to use dark fog. I'm going to add a bit of fog, but I don't want it everywhere. So check this out. I'm going to click here, click on gradient mask, and it says click and drag. So I'm going to click and drag and add the fog just at the bottom, just to make it a little more interesting. Fog at the bottom, no fog at the top. Okay, now I'm ready to go crazy. I'm going to go to layers plus add a new adjustment layer because I want to be able to uh, turn down the opacity of what I'm about, about to do. And I'm going to go to the famous, famous, I love that filter. And you can, you have to use it really right, the sunray filter. Check this out. The sunray filter has an auto masking feature. I can move in sun rays and it auto masks behind the clouds. I want it a bit, I uh, want it somewhere around here, something like this. Yes, and then you can decide the amount of sun rays. So if you go right, it's gonna be very contrasty. I want it to be a bit contrasty, and then you can change the look. Uh, I think I actually wanna make it a little darker. The number of sun rays you can do. I So, you know, just pick something that you like. I think uh, I don't want that much. So maybe something like this. And then the lengths of, you can make them short or you can make them long. I'm gonna make it a little shorter just something like this. And then the sun is basically, sun is gonna be here if you want the sun to be behind. I actually wanna add the sun, I think that's good. The glow, the radius of the sun uh, is here. I'm actually gonna make it lower. 
because I like I don't like so much the rays going up there. And penetration is really important. That's way too much, you know, and that's you can go to zero. Don't overdo it. I just want to add a little bit of rays, maybe something like this, you know. And you can even paint the effect like I could erase like I don't like this ray so much, so I could go here. Uh, you know, I could take take a little brush, go to brush, make sure I'm on erase and just erase the effect just here because I don't like this ray here or let's say I don't like that ray here. I can erase it. So now I only have this rays there. Okay. And one more thing I want to do, I want to make them more blurry. So uh, I'm going to go to add filter. I'm going to go to soft, uh, soft focus. Soft focus is going to make really things very blurry. Uh, and I, I love the look that it does. Maybe lower the brightness. I don't want it too so bright. And again, I'm just going to click here. Oops, click here, brush. And this time I'm going to go to paint. And I, I only want to paint the effect on the rays. Okay, just to make them a little more blurry. And, and that's not all. I want to add another effect, which I really like, which is uh, Golden Hour. Golden Hour just adds that... It don't go too crazy, but it adds a lot of gold in our colors. So, and you can add this and then lower the saturation to get a completely different look. Uh, I'm just going to add a little bit of that gold in our feeling. I think I just love what it does to the colors. And now I've got all this on one layer, so I can go, uh, you know, check it out before that layer, after that layer. <laughs> a complete change of photo. So I can lower the exposure of all these adjustments if I find them a little too crazy, just a little bit, maybe like 80%. And uh, and you can just, and it's completely non-destructive. I'm like, oh, I don't like the, the rays. I can move, I can go back and move the rays around, you know, and make them how I want them. Maybe something like this, you know, and then you would have to adjust the self-focus, you know. I can go here and adjust the mask, brush, you know, paint the effect here, you know, and uh, make sure the soft focus is on, on this on this one, you know, but check this out. This is where we came from Lightroom. That's the before and that's the after. That's the before and that's the after. And then, you know, I can add a new adjustment layer and add a new advanced contrast. Just play around with it. And, you know, maybe in the mid-tones, I want to add more contrast. Uh, shadows you know i just love this advanced contract what it does you know and you know if it's too uh you know if it's at the end of the day if it's too saturated for you because sometimes adding and adding stuff is going to add more and more saturation you can just go here click on saturation to have so many filters uh, saturation and vibrance and just add that and then you know lower the saturation a little bit or the vibrance uh, i can add you know a dramatic filter if I wanted to. So let's see if that's going to work. No, that's going to take out all the colors. If you don't like a filter, just click the red. But you get the idea. Check it out again. That's when we came from Lightroom. And that's where it is. And uh, well, you know, looking at it, I'm like, I don't like the sun rays so much. I, so I can always go back to adjustment layer one and, uh, you know, just play around with sun rays until you really like them. You have to really nail them to how you want it. Maybe something a little more subtle like this, you know, or like this, you know however you want it and uh, that's good because it's completely uh, non-destructive and then I can go back to my final adjustment and whatever I did there or oh, I don't like what it does you know so it's just you just play around with it I think I want to add even more regular contrast to it so I can go to here and tap contrast contrast and I've got the color contrast the advanced contrast let's try color contrast and then just add amount yeah that's pretty cool uh, actually, maybe just a regular contrast and a little bit of this. Well, just to make it pop even more. And voila, I mean, it's infinite what you can do with it. But I really like, uh, you know, and then you, when you click on apply, it just goes back into Lightroom, which is really cool. I'm back into Lightroom and you can always go to the develop module and, you know, re-add contrast, you know, open up the shadows even more if you want into Lightroom. I can lower the vibrance. You know, but I'm sure this photo is going to do a lot better than this photo. You know what I mean? It's got fog, it's got sun rays, and you can go crazy or not. And so, voila, check out Luminar. It's the lowest price ever. I don't think that there you have a special for a couple of this. Check the link below. It's amazing. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. Check out this amazing offer we have this weekend on Luminar. It's such a cool software, and I will see you in another video. Au revoir.